Hi there, this is Miguel Garcia coming to you from the Training Services Film Studio. And on this portion, we're gonna be going over how to properly dress yourself if you were gonna be a rescuer on an over the side type incident. Now, all the equipment that I'm gonna be using can be found on any Los Angeles County Fire Department piece of equipment. So, the first thing we wanna do is use our blue webbing. First thing, find the two ends of our blue webbing, offset them approximately six to eight inches. Reason being is that when we drape this over our shoulder, we will put the short end in front so that would create hopefully uh, an evening out of the ends. Next thing we do with the bite is tie an overhand knot, creating about a four inch opening or a bite. Now again, like I mentioned earlier about shortening the one leg of the webbing, we wanna put the short end in front of us about chest high, right about there. Now, with the end in front of us, we wanna reach around our back and bring it up over our left armpit and through the opening we created. At this point, we wanna secure this with an overhand knot. Wanna make sure we get this nice and snug. Okay, now with the piece that's behind us, we wanna reach around our back and as you can see, as I bring it up over my left shoulder, I've created a nice V pattern there. So now to finish this off and to secure it, we have to join these two lines using a water knot or basically uh, an, overhand, an overhand band. This part here takes a little bit of practice. A lot of times I would recommend that one of your partners would help you out with uh, securing this knot because it can be a little difficult to get it to be nice and snug when you try to tie it onto yourself. So once you feed that through, by following it through, you should snug that up. And with the longer loose end facing down, you wanna go ahead and tie another overhand knot. So there you have it. Basically, you have now created a chest harness for yourself. And again, you wanna make sure that this is the V pattern you have behind, which can also be used as a, another point of attachment. So the next part is we're gonna go ahead and put the, our pelvic harness onto ourselves by using the adjustable two inch belt. Now you'll notice that it's got the buckle there. One thing I would suggest is that you place the buckle adjustment pull away from your dominant side. So what I mean by that is that I'm right-handed, I wanna repel with all the rope and everything else on my right-hand side. So when I place the buckle on my back, I wanna make sure that when I adjust this and pull, it's pulling away from my right-hand side and onto my left. You also may have noticed that I tucked in my breast jacket into my pants. Now, I would suggest you do that. Remove all, uh, all articles from your uh, pockets, whether it's gloves. That way, you tuck it in and you give yourself a nice, uh, slimmer profile. So, take the buckle, place it on the small of your back, centered, and you can see that when I do to, when I go to adjust this, I'm gonna be pulling to my left hand side. So now I place my hands from the uh, outside in the loop, reach in between my legs, pull these two loops up, hold on to these two loops. Now I can begin to adjust my belt, the leg portion. At this point, I got these two bites here. Want to reach for a carabiner. Capturing these two bites. Just like so. Now when I go to adjust this, again, I'm going to pull away towards my left. And the whole idea is to have everything end up on my left hand side. Just like that. Now when I secure this by doing an overhand knot so that the buckle doesn't slide or loosen up, at this point I just want to go ahead and get all this loose material and secure it into a pocket. The last thing I need to do is to attach the carabiner 
onto the chest harness and now I'm ready to go.